so i number this is i number is here x by root 3 plus y is equal to 4 right you can change this equation now this implies okay how to solve this equation this can be written as x LCM is a root 3, okay? Root 3. So this can be written as x plus multiply this. This is root 3y is equal to 4. Okay? x plus root 3y is equal to 4. Now this can be written as here x plus root 3y is equal to 4 root 3. Okay, and this again can be written as here implies x plus root 3y minus 4 root 3 is equal to 0. This is our equation 1. Okay, now we got this, yes? Equation 1. Now Comparing it, okay. Compare, comparing with, compare with ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So what we get here? Comparing this to zero, we get here a is equal to we get here one. B is equal to here is root three, and c is equal to we get here minus four root three. Okay, now we have to find here root under a square plus b square is equal to a1 square plus b is how much here? Root 3 whole square. 1 square is 1 plus root 3 square is 3. So this is equal to 4 is equal to root 2, okay? 2. Now, now what we will do here? So what is now here? We got two. Now write this equation. Okay, this equation again. Okay? Standard equation here is x plus root three y is equal to four root three. Okay, now divide this equation. Divide both side by two. So when we divide this both side by two, what we get here? x y 2 plus root 3y by 2 is equal to 4 root 3 divided by 2 ok so now this is equal to here this can be written as x into 1 by 2 plus y into root 3y 2 is equal to this is how much if I cancel this this will be 2 root 3 ok Got it? Now compare it. Now compare. Comparing with. Comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Okay, when we compare this with x is okay, what do we get here? Cos alpha. Cos alpha is equal to we get here 1 by 2 and sin alpha we get here root 3 by 2 right and p is equal to we got here 2 root 3 now what we can do here now since both are positive we can see here what both are positive since cos alpha and sin alpha and k Okay, man. Cycle. 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 Since cos alpha and sin alpha are both positive, positive okay, the angle okay, the angle alpha, angle alpha lies in, angle alpha lies in which quadrant in fourth. Sorry, sorry. Not fourth column because this is positive, okay. So both positive means see the cast rules. 
सीएसटी का स्टोर स्टेज वर्क इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट ओके सो इट लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट इट लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट क्यू यू ए डी आर एंड फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट ओके सो आवर वैल्यू इज नाउ हियर क्रॉस अल्फा इज इक्वल टू 1 by 2 so this can be written as cos 1 by 2 value is which cos 60 degree okay and now sin alpha is equal to 3 by 2 so this is here at sin 60 degree okay <coughs> therefore now therefore our equation is x cos 60 degree plus y sin 60 degree is equal to 2 root 3 ok e the required equation in perpendicular form now we got this equation ok in the perpendicular form now we have to find p so what is now here p p is equal to here is 2 root 3 and alpha value is equal to here is 60 degree so now let me check x cos 60 degree, y sin 60 degree is equal to 2 root 3. So, dear subscribers, viewers, and students, this is the solution. Dear Rati Vaisakwe, Kota Pura Chishe Rai, Tom Chisho Chai. This is the video.